Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the dark side of OnlyFans. So you guys know, avid Twitter user, and uh, when I see something on Twitter, that means you guys got to see it. That's the golden rule on this channel. If I see something and I think it's interesting, then I'm going to bust open Adobe Premiere and I'm, I'm going to talk over some gameplay. <laughs> And then you're going to be forced to look at that. So I saw a post that said the average earnings from an OnlyFans user is about $180 a month. And the most accounts take home less than $145 per, per month. Yet the company and corporate media paint it as a meritocratic get rich quick scheme. Who does it serve when we obscure the reality of exploitation? The person then goes on to say, I'll answer. It serves Tim Stokely, the CEO of OnlyFans, who took 20% of the $2 billion in sales in 2020. And it serves the capitalist class who benefit from getting everyone to buy into the myth that meritocraticy and exploitation equals empowerment agency and freedom so what do i think about all this honestly right before we even really get started and i'm about to get on my ranting i gotta say anytime somebody does like anti only fans type of post on twitter bro it brings them hoes out dog i mean i just see the g-strings the twerking the fish market the dick cheese you just smell that joint all in the air right in the front lawn that anytime somebody has like one of these like hey why are you guys showing your body where is your soul anytime somebody does that these motherfuckers come out at 100 miles per hour the first post that i saw and i'm like all right this is real interesting and i want to give my take on it was by this young lady she said did you know that most self-made businesses usually have a two-year turnaround period when you actually start to see progress same with sex work since you are on your own business it's not easy money but yes it can be worth it if you know what you're doing whoa 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 before we continue i noticed that 51.5 percent of you guys have been watching the videos but you aren't sub go ahead and tap in with your boy by hitting the subscribe button and while you're down there why don't you go ahead and hit the like as it helps out the channel we're all about growth here i try to be as entertaining as possible in these videos so yeah any support is much appreciated and with that being said let's go ahead and jump back into the video now i don't mean to be that guy and i don't want <laughs> I'm about to do it. I don't mean to be the guy to trivialize what these individuals do, okay? Because I wouldn't want somebody to do that with me. Well, Rob, technically speaking, all you got to do is wake up, roll out of bed, turn on the screen, and literally talk into a mic. It can't be that difficult. Well, thank you. Thank you. Who is this nigga talking to? Myself. I'm sorry, guys. If it takes two year turnaround period for you to see progress on OnlyFans and you're fucking on cam, either your fuck game is ass, you may not be the best looking person, which, you know, I know some people don't want to hear that, or you have no idea how to market yourself, which to me doesn't even really seem like it would be that hard when it comes to showing your body. Because honestly, a lot of these chicks, if you just make an Instagram and you post selfies, the simps will show up. <laughs> If you build it, they will come. So I can't imagine how much more difficult it would be showing the butthole, showing the titty, you know, some of you guys showing the immaculate throat. Like I clicked the young lady's post here that um, wrote this statement and one of the retweets we have, I'm not gonna read any of these people out or even show the, the thing. I'm looking at a BBW woman, big, big woman, and she has a BBC sitting in the throat. And then I see another one, she's in the bathroom. She's showing the throat. So anybody seeing this is like, man, yo, the throat looks, immaculate looks heavenly i have to experience this nine out of ten times you won't and they're gonna give you money it doesn't really seem that difficult that's that's what kind of makes me sit here and scratch my head what i really think it is is i'm gonna tell you what i think it is i think it's the soundcloud sort of youtube reaction game if when i mean soundcloud i mean like yo soundcloud rappers yo is is a is completely saturated there's a lot of people in there youtube reactions not saying you can't make it out of the, the ground doing that but it's so many people in that man it's difficult you got to be the little engine that could you got to put out a lot of content and i think when it comes to what some of these young ladies want to do on only fans you want to fuck once a week nah it's not gonna work that way my baby you need to be sucking dick every day <laughs> You need to be getting smashed out every day. Honestly, I'm gonna give them a tip for the OnlyFans people. Hey, don't jump into the interracial just yet. Don't jump into the interracial just yet. Just stick with your race, and then right when maybe them views start dipping a little bit, then jump into the nigga pool. Cause that, I heard the interracial bag is crazy high. That's, you know, that would be my tip for it. But when I'm seeing this, right, I, I, I think like, why would it take two years to have a turnover rate before you start actually making some money, if we really being honest? And the reason why I'm saying this is cause, yo, 
I'm assuming for the most part, everybody has smartphones, right? I'm just assuming, okay? If you don't have a smartphone, you got way more things to worry about before ever showing your body online. But I'm assuming in the age of the smartphone where everybody has smartphones, that's already a cost that you don't need to go buy a phone. You're not going to go buy a Canon 90D thousand dollar camera to shoot footage you sucking cock. Like, I'm sorry. And if you are doing that, I'm really kind of scratching my head like, well, why are you doing that? Because... I don't think niggas are going there saying like, hey, yo, bro, I'm trying to see the pores in your face as you suck BBC. Like, I don't think it really works that way. I, I'm not going to see the pores in your face while you suck BBC. I'm going to watch you suck BBC. Do you understand that? And honestly, I'm kind of offended that you even have a BBC in the video here because I'm not a possessor of the legendary BBC. We have ABC over here, okay? So you need to go get an ABC nigga to put in the video. That's just the first thing. Like, that's what I'm thinking of. And I think that's when sometimes people purchase these things. Um, that's what they're telling themselves. Like, you know, you need the best camera to do this. This is not a YouTube video. You're not Casey Neistat. You're sucking a penis and putting it on Twitter. And then when you come to marketing, like, yo, Reddit, Twitter, I don't understand wh what is the marketing. Is this, a, this isn't the 90s where there's a nigga in the corner and he's like, yo, I got a CD. Yo, you want to listen to my mixtape? Yo, you listen to a little bit of mixtape. You say, can I have $2 for it? No, you can't have two dollars for it but you know it is what it is it's what, what's the other one premium snapchat that they do they go to snapchat to to uh <laughs> to showcase this i think i honestly think the move now is tiktok i think tiktok is where they they go to do that shit the most because i know for a while if you go to my uh the rise of only fans girls video i made a couple months ago I, I yo i it was a point i was on tiktok you watch one video and the next thing you know it's like only fans only fans only fans only fans I, I felt like i was walking through a mall and i got like 10 to 15 bad chicks it's like hey daddy how you you doing i'm like oh wow she said hello to me and you say hey how are you doing and she's like hey you want to sign up just five dollars and i'm like nah I'm, I'm okay and another girl's like bum ass nigga you ain't got five dollars and i'm like no i do have five but i wanted to go to auntie ann's to spend this five i don't want to give you five dollars to see you suck a dick especially when i can put your name in with reddit onto google and find the video usually in full or, or what's the other thing these young bucks are doing now telegram <laughs> Telegram chat dropping the whole videos in Telegram. And then the last one that some of these young bucks is doing, they go download a, pe a person's whole portfolio, upload it to Mega, and then they resell your what you're selling for a lower cost. So you selling Coke, I take the Coke, I'm adding fentanyl, baking soda, <laughs> maybe a little caffeine in there, mixing that joint on up, and then I'm reselling what you're selling for 20 for maybe $11. Yo, that's a whole hustle that some niggas are doing. I don't agree with the last one but that's what niggas are doing so wrapping this all the way back around when i'm seeing that somebody saying it's gonna take two years before you actually start to see progress what in the world is this young lady talking about two years i'm gonna keep it a bean with you i feel like if you're not seeing some progress within 90 days you may need to take that shit back to formula on some william defoe out of spider-man one type shit i'm keeping it a bean with you but let's continue reading so this guy said i know three women who have done only fans the low is about 500 dollars a month and the high is legit over thirteen thousand a month it's all about how you market yourself and the content you put out and how engaged you are with your followers it can be easy money if you make it easy money so we this is kind of just what i talked about a second ago with uh marketing yourself and things of that nature and then we have also this guy right here said, eh, OnlyFans definitely isn't empowering, but I'm a boy and used to make over 1K a month when I did it. 90% of the job is just marketing your content. OnlyFans isn't the best platform, but most SW platformers or platforms are highway robbery taking legit half your money. So this is one that I think is interesting because I definitely see this quite a bit with just the content creation genre as a whole online. And I think it's probably going to get worse as a... Uh, we go on 20, 30 years, but it says OnlyFans has groomed an entire generation of people and it's honestly terrifying. And then the person got a reply that says the users have groomed the entire generation. OnlyFans has never advertised anything that I've seen. It was taken over and advertised by S worker, SW or sex workers. Why the fuck they keep putting SW? Can you get banned for that on Twitter or something? Sex workers on Twitter. You will see like some people, some of these chicks will be on the beach. They'll be putting articles or articles. My goodness. They'll be putting videos up like this. You ever seen a 
a ghost? I was over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I was sitting over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I made a salad with craisins. Hello, I'm Chip Mullaney. I'm your father. But sometimes he would be gay. Ever been to the goddamn zoo? I used to showcase like I guess them living their best lives or how comfortable they are, and then and, and then the younger generation of people will see it and they start saying like, damn, they don't realize that like it may be uncomfortable, but the regular job that you can get if you just learn some discipline when saving your money, you will more than likely probably see more than some of these uh, OnlyFans content creators are getting. Now you start seeing the outliers and I think when it comes to any form of social media, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, OnlyFans, OnlyFans I don't know how much uh, people really earn off TikTok. I think people see these outliers and they start thinking like they're the next up and Again, I say this quite a bit over the course of my channel, who wants to be the biggest guy in the room? I sure as hell don't, cause the biggest guy is the one that always gets the gun pulled on them and shot in the chest. So I wanna be the nigga that, you know, maybe not too big, not too small. I'm, I I don't wanna be bigger than five digits. You give me five digit numbers, I'm okay with five digit numbers. Hell, I'm perfectly fine with four digit numbers, but five digit numbers is where Big Rob wants to sit at. So uh, again, when you start seeing this and people, I guess, I don't wanna say uh, fantasize, but they, they, they start really wanting to be the outlier. They see that 13K, they see that per month and they start seeing all the shit they can buy. And it, it's kind of sad what comes with that. We don't talk about the long time stuff. I think people's mindsets are so in the now that they don't really start thinking about like, yo, bro, always a younger demographic. There's always a better looking person out there. There's always something we don't talk about yo, if you go broke doing this, what do you got left? I, that shit, I don't know, man. This whole entire thing of what you're seeing with this is, it seems draining. And I feel like if you give every part of yourself away, what do you have left? And that's what I see when I see this. And when you're when when I'm seeing numbers like this, right, where they're talking about uh, less than 145 per month, and you're on here showing butthole, you getting dick down. We there's there's a problem there that needs to be discussed that I don't think has to do with OnlyFans at all. I think there's something else deeper that we need to get to the root of. But I don't know. That's just my thoughts about this. I don't know. I hope this came across and it made sense. I wanted to read this to you guys because I saw this two days ago and I thought this was so interesting. I said, you know what? That looks like a video topic. So. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, if you give the video a like and help me out, that would, you know, that would help your boy out quite a bit, man. And I know you want to help me out, don't you? Yes, I do, Big Rob. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you for the like. Also, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe and check out my Patreon with over 110 hours of additional content that you can get in for as low as $5. That's a steal, baby. Also, if you haven't, go ahead and follow me over at twitter.com forward slash rmpkampachi. I put a tweet out earlier today that says, when I see you, I'm going to hit you with the two, two, three, two. I don't know anything about that. I don't want to disrespect anybody from Florida in any capacity. I just really like that song that I heard earlier by Fulio. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. You guys have a great day and I will talk to y'all tomorrow.